Okay, I'm Jack Hurley. I'm Sarah. Yeah, um, I'm from Australia. And I'm in the UK. Obviously not now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where are you at the moment? I'm, I'm, the, I'm, in, I'm in Australia. I'm in Australia. On well. holidays? Well. Oh, on holidays. Yes, on holidays with my family. So what have you two got in common? Um, we've got a face. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and what is aphasia? <sighs> um, a bit different. Um, we had a stroke. Oh, I had a stroke. Sarah had a stroke. Um, when I was 15, just turned my fi just fifth. I was turned fifth. Okay. I was turned. I was turned 15 in January 2008. Um, How about you? You were 18, weren't you? Yeah. At school, um, and I think aphasia um, is to do with your if you have um, your brain affected in the area, which is here, um, and it's to do with your speech, your writing, reading, and numbers as well, like for me that's hard. Brocky's area, Monica's area. <laughs> You're experts now. <laughs> <laughs> so, what other ways did it affect you in, in your lives? Um, what's it prevented you from doing? Um, I was going, um, I'll, I'm still going to be, um, I was going to go through to, I was going to become at, um, a doc, I want to be a doctor, so I need to figure it out how to go through the High school, then through to UQ, to nine, um, um, in that uni, and then straight through at biomedical science, and then straight through to doctor of college. So that's still your goal, but it's going to be a bit tougher. Because aphasia doesn't affect your intelligence, no. just your communication. So that's important, yeah. isn't it, for people to know? Mm. Yeah. So you two found each other, or your mothers found you two. <laughs> <laughs> that's us. <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah. Because you're on the other side of the world from each other. Mm. How nice has it been able to find other young people that share your journey? It's pretty rare. And that. I think that's why it's important to to find other people who have aphasia or strokes because um, it's very isolating. Um, um, yeah. Mm. yeah. You get to share and see each other like this, it's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> and how have your friends coped with you having aphasia? Has it been tough for them? It's a bit different for me, yeah. Some, some, some friends are whole were not very, not very um, what's the word? It's very different for them, I guess. Um, yeah. Is it hard, like socialising in a noisy place like a bar and? It's a lot tougher when you have a phaser, isn't it? Yeah. Do you find that so? Yeah, and I think like my friends before my stroke and after, some of my friends um, don't really like to talk to me at all now because I think it's so different now. I'm the same person, but obviously my speech is affected and everything else. So. Um, some of my friends are very good understanding and that's very nice um, 
and some of my friends are new and sometimes that's kind of better because the person knows your yourself now so it's just easier so yeah it's really difficult and what kind of things can people do to help you if you have aphasia how can they help you if you're in, in a group is that a tough question for me um, <laughs> <laughs> not really now I guess um, can they know. buy you a drink <laughs> 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 I guess, <laughs> but um, not now. Um, we've been we've been doing this for six six, six years, and we've improved a lot. Good. Good. A lot. So, do you think your confidence is better now than than it was? Yeah, of course. When it happened. Yeah, because mm -hmm. when we first met you, I think you've you've improved a lot, and you've same with Sarah really. Mm. Mm. But it takes time, doesn't it? A long time. Yeah. I think keeping your mood positive yeah. is really important by finding new things to enjoy and new mm. friends is what moves you forward. So, and of course your families and your mothers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and new new things as well that maybe you wouldn't have had the opportunity to do before. Like Jack, you're doing new things now. What kind of things are you doing? Um, I'm work, working with the, um, the life savings now and Brian and a couple of others. So, yeah. Yeah. And Sarah, what are you doing? Or what have you been doing? Well, um, after my stroke I was horse riding, which is a new hobby. Um, I'm not doing it now. But the, it was really good. And um, just talking to other people who have strokes or aphasia, that's a new, but it's nice and I like it um, and just, and I'm working at a school now and that's new, so lots of different things but, um, so there's think, life yeah. after stroke, yeah. yeah, new friendships, new friendships, mm. give each other a hug then, <laughs> 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 we wouldn't go that far, <laughs> Bye. Bye.